Hello, friends. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We are gonna do a plan with me. And I asked on my last video, it was like a flip through or something, whether you guys thought I should do two weeks of Halloween spreads or just the one. And I really, okay, so there was only one vote for each, like if I'm 100% honest, but I really, really wanna do two weeks of Halloween because I feel like, so we're in October, right? And we have all these like fall spreads. Well, not all these fall spreads, but these spreads. And I feel like the last week in October should just be a Halloween spread. I'm not even sure if the week of Halloween is going to be Halloween-y. So also we're going to a Halloween party here. So I'm gonna do this one up Halloween style because I just love Halloween. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm excited. Okay, so this is gonna be like, usually I kind of plan out what I want my spreads to look like, but this time, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, okay, so if we're gonna start with this seasonal book and I'm gonna see what my checklist situation is. And I feel like I look at this every time and I'm like, there's nothing left. And you guys are like, yeah, you already looked at that a million times. So there's nothing in that one. <laughs> and I have two of them. So we'll just see what I'm looking for are black and orange. There's one black one. So that's probably not gonna work. So what we'll do next then is we will pull color store, not color story, wrong. We'll pull colorful boxes because they at least have neutral checklists in here. Yeah, we'll just do black. I think that will be good because I'm going to do like black and white mostly with some orange because one of the stickers I want has orange. So I'll put the checklist down and I will BRB. <laughs> but I like to keep you guys a little close. I also apologize if the lighting is weird or if you see any weird shadowing because I'm trying to film this right before date night. I don't have any kids here. So what do I do? I plan, of course. So let's see. The first thing I wanna put down, and this, I'm not gonna be sequential about this planning at all because I'm just kind of putting down the big events first. <laughs> so Let's see here. I am going to put down eat, drink, and be spooky for the day that we have the Halloween party. So that is going to go right there. And then I will mark the party, which will be so much fun. I don't, I've talked about this Halloween party a couple of times in different videos because it's usually pretty epic. Like they kind of go all out. Our, these are neighbors of ours, by the way, who go like all out with their decorations on multiple holidays. The gal Megan is an artist. And so she's like super creative and all of her things look awesome. And her parties are just always so much fun. And so I'm very excited about it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next then is I will mark the party and we will put down this black flag, but I'm gonna use my child scissors because that's what I have handy and I'm actually gonna cut the flag part off. I'm just gonna make it a box. I like the flag, I do. Sometimes it's great, but in this case, I don't want it to look like it's trying to mark something else. So we'll just do this and that will be for Megan's party. And I think that's like the only thing we have going on. I do like that that sticker has gold. Oh no, oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? I ripped the sticker that I just cut and made perfect, but you know what? We're just gonna try to work with it because I like to show you guys in my spreads that not everything has to be perfect. So you can totally tell that it's ripped. Well, that didn't go like I had planned. <laughs> Whoops. 
You could always count on my spreads to be a little bit of a hot mess. And I hope that that lets you guys know that your spreads don't have to be 100% perfect. If they are, no shade, but if they're not, it's totally cool too. Like that's 100% fine. Oh geez, of course, of course something would rip, of course. Like why would that not happen in my spread? <laughs> Oh, you guys, I am such a struggler. Oh, okay, we'll put down a little, we'll put down a little candy corn here and we'll just kind of mark it and then we'll have a little less space to write, but that'll be fine. Cause then, then you won't even really be able to tell that it's ripped. Voila, perfect. So yeah, instead of peeling that up and wasting another sticker and just so my little mom brain does not forget, I'm gonna write, that it's Megan's Halloween party right now. Oh, and my pen just screwed up. <sighs> this is why I usually plan earlier in my day because I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm tired. That is exactly why. Okay, so then what else do we have going on? Okay, Friday, kind of crazy busy on Friday, not gonna lie. We have a lot going on <laughs> on Friday and I think I'm okay with it, but oh, you know what? Okay, back to Saturday. I'm gonna see because there is a, where is she? She is a, not a squad goals girl. She's a, what do they call this? Girl gang now. <laughs> She's a girl gang girl and she has on a costume and I definitely have her in here. I'm very excited. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the candy corn off. Oh my gosh, If I, I'm just gonna like demolish the sticker. That's what's gonna end up happening. Yep, I totally did. Okay, we're gonna have to start over. I liked the candy corn, I did, I really did. It was very cute, but I need to do it this way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm totally screwing this up. Oh man, I do. Somebody in the comments the other day said that I need some undo. You're right, you're 100% right. But do I have it yet? No, I don't. I need to go get some. I really do. I am kind of, like I watched Heather Kell's demonstration of it the other day. Not the other day, it was like a few weeks ago when she tried it out when she didn't have it, when she was doing all of this like peeling up sticker business before, <laughs> before her days of undo. And I don't know, I'm worried that it's gonna make my page wet. But I guess if Heather Kell used it and she was fine with it, I guess I can be too. I can be brave. I can, I can try something new. That's really hard for me actually, is to try new things. Okay, so now try this again. We cut off the flag. It was a little uneven if I'm 100% honest. I was not even gonna bring it up, but <laughs> it was a little uneven. And now we cannot rip this because I'm pretty sure this is like my last one. Hold your breath, everybody, hold your breath. Can I do this without screwing it up? What do you think? Leave it down in the comments below before you watch it. Pause it right now. Can I do this without screwing it up? <laughs> okay, so then we have this cute, cute, cute girl gang because it is a costume party. That's why I'm putting it there. Kind of feel like she should go on Halloween, but things are falling over there. But it is a costume party, so that's super cute. I love that. Okie dokie, so now we'll do Friday. <laughs> and I am gonna put her there. I should have put her in the middle. Oh well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna move things. <laughs> okay. So then I'm gonna put in some old school. These are not old school, because they just came out also. Colorful boxes, but we have so many things going on. This one is going to mark Harrison's preschool drop-off, plus I am going to be volunteering. So let me just add a little pen in here because I feel like because this week is so different, I'm gonna forget what all these things are. 100% real talk, I have not written in boxes on Playing With Me's before because I 100% forgot what I was gonna write in them, 100%. I know that I can use a box no matter what it is, but I need to remember things. <laughs> So we'll put Megan's Halloween party. And then we'll put in this one, Harry Preschool. And Harrison's name is Harrison, but we definitely call him Harry. His name is actually kind of a play off of Harry Potter because hashtag I'm a nerd. I'm gonna put a little one of these guys. Ooh, this little today sticker. Pull some more orange in and we'll do that. Plus, Caitlin, volunteer. And then I'm gonna leave early for my volunteer shift. Totally bad mom style <laughs> because I have to get to a work thing also that day. Ugh, so much going on, it's crazy. Okay, so then what did I wanna do next? 
We're gonna do mostly black and white is what I decided, I think. What else? Oh, we have this little black and white. This is new from Michaels. Let's see. I don't like to put two boxes that have like a quote or writing next to each other. Check it off today. These are all rose gold. Hmm. I kind of wish some of these were just black and white boxes without things on them like it, but I do need just some like plain ones. Okay, hooray, it's all about you. Oh, this is actually kind of cute, this gold and white one. And then I can always add things on there. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do because it's the polka dots next to the stripies. I do like that. All right, and then also Delilah's class party that day for Halloween or whatever they call it. I'm sure they don't call it Halloween because people I don't know, this is my thing. So it's always been called like a Halloween class party and I get it and I 100% respect people who don't celebrate it, who choose not to celebrate it. But like, do you really need to like tell the school that they can't call it a Halloween party because like you're offended? I'm sorry if that sounds rude, I don't mean it to. But like, really? Like, do we really need to do that? Okay, so then we have also Delilah's class party. I'll say it's a fall festival. Delilah's fall festival. Okay, and then we will do a gold one because nobody likes too much of one color. And there is gold in this spread, which I kind of like. I haven't done black and gold in a while. Let's see, I kind of maybe want to put it here. That would be pretty. Wouldn't that be pretty? I feel like my lighting really sucks with these not floral. <laughs> What are they? Foil stickers. Because it just, it shines too bright. It's too much brightness. Sorry if that's blinding you. So then we'll put, what else? Oh, I have a field trip. So I'm gonna just put work a field trip. I'm not gonna put the location because it's like school related and like it has, some of my students will be there. So it's not really my jam <laughs> to like out my school where they're gonna be. Okay, so then, where was that? We did have some cute things in this happy memory keeping. I feel like I was gonna do like a lot of spiders was my intention, this like black and white spider situation, but it's not so much turning out that way. And this just is like, a preview is kind of my inspiration for my actual Halloween spread. Who's excited? I'm excited. I wish you guys could talk back to me. I wish this was like a live scenario and I should do more live. I honestly should. I'm thinking about starting to build up my following over on you now, which is a live streaming service. So if anybody would like to watch live videos on any topic, let me know. I could definitely try to work some more of those in if that's something you guys would watch. If nobody would show up and that's not like your jam, totally fine with it. I will not be offended. <laughs> But if that is something that you want to see, let me know. I can do that. Maybe we'll do our Halloween movie night after this day. This would be, that would be fun. And the sticker looks cute. Wouldn't that be fun after this fun fall day? Okay, so we'll put that there. And then maybe we'll put like a jack-o'-lantern over here. I'm sure more things will come up on Saturday, but you know what? It is fall time and it is Halloween time and I'm excited about it. So it's okay if I have to like cover things up. I could cover up my checklist if I really need to. How about a tiny bat? Oh, they all go together. I don't know if I have room for all of them. Maybe I will just cut the big one off the top. Lost my scissors, you guys, lost them. They're gone forever. Haha, -ha, I found them. They were hiding under my planning pages. Is anybody else like a super messy planner? Definitely me. Okay, oh, that is cute, okay. That is pretty cute and we'll find another place for this other bat. All right, so then the other big thing we have going on is another cute sticker from the seasonal pack. And I know I've already used this one in another spread, I'm pretty sure, but we're going again because it's Harrison's field trip. So we have a pumpkin patch day and it says go to the pumpkin patch. Maybe not in this one, maybe in the other one. I have too many stickers, you guys, <laughs> too many. Oh goodness. But who doesn't love seasonal stickers? Who doesn't? Oh, visit the pumpkin patch? I don't really want purple though. Well, that's a bummer. Well, I'm gonna mix and match some things here. 
I know it kind of hurts my little soul to do this, but there's a little white and gold situation here, a little dot sticker. I'm trying to, I'm just, again, like piecing this spread together. <laughs> trying to go kind of Halloween, but we'll see. I don't know if this is gonna be very easy to see for you guys. This spread is just kind of taking it out of me and I wish I had more daylight. I'm kind of stressing that the daylight's going away and you guys are gonna have like a dark image to watch. Hopefully that won't be the case. Cause you know, hashtag lighting is pretty good. Okay, I remember like, if you have been following me for a while, I used to post really dark videos that I filmed on my phone and like, that's totally fine if that's what you do also, like we all have to start somewhere. But I really love that you guys followed me even back then and continue to follow me. It's just, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll just put, we'll mark Harrison's field trip and then maybe put some pumpkins down, I think that would be kind of cool. So we'll do that. And I'm trying to not do like leaves and stuff because it's been, it's been done. I've done it a lot already. So we'll put this there and I'm just gonna put pumpkin patch. I know the location and I will probably write the location in after I post photos of this. But again, just for safety, like I know that most of you guys are, are amazing people and a lot of you guys have families and kids too, but it's just, it weirds me out to put my kids information out there. Okay. so. This will be Harry Preschool. He has, oh, maybe we'll mark it with a little pumpkin. How cute would that be? I saw a lot of pumpkins left in this squad goals book. So I would like just one smallish pumpkin. I like the really like deep orange ones, especially when we get close to Halloween. Although they're not super tiny. Look at this little heart, cause it's orange. That there, pumpkin patch day. Whew, this week is getting busy. So crazy. All right. And then we should do either like an orange box or some kind of black and white situation. Let's go back into this black and white box. Black and white box. This fun day one is kind of cool and it is black and gold and it will be a fun day because, you know, pumpkin patch. And I am not going because I have work so many meetings to go to, which I love. I do not let me even sound like I am complaining about my job because I love my job like so, so much. But I don't know if for any of you other working moms out there, like do you ever get, do you ever get the mom guilt? I feel like it needs to be more black. It's really cute, but it needs to be more black. But do you ever get the like, I wish I was there more or I wish that like I could go to all the things and I'm sure, I'm sure it's a normal feeling, but I don't know. I just, I wish I could, I wish I could do everything. Like I wish I could do my job and go to every single thing my kids have. <laughs> oh man, the struggle. The struggle is real. I don't want rose gold necessarily. I think we'll do this adventure sticker. I think that's kind of cute because it will be a little adventure. He'll be going on, he'll be going on. I think it's his first field trip actually. That's really cool that I just recognized that. Hashtag mom win. Yeah, that'll be fun for him. I think he'll really like that. So then we also that day, just while we're here, we should mark that we need to pick up Delilah because we do we need to pick up Miss Lila girl. Oh man, I just love that kid. And I love watching her grow up. She turns 11 on November 17th, which is mind blowing to me. And I just, I love it so much. I love that she's growing up. I love watching her because for a while there, she was kind of struggling with like some behavior stuff and just some other things, you know, pretty typical kid stuff, but also, you know, they all have their own little things, but I, I just love watching her this year. Like she's doing amazing. She's doing so, so good. So I'm really proud of her and I just love watching her grow. It's amazing. Okay, so we have to pick up Delilah. Oh, so actually this is play date day. So we're having some of her friends over. So play date. So I'm picking up Delilah and friends and I will just put a little, I'm glad I remembered that because I don't have it on my like phone calendar. I put things in my planner, but I also put them in my phone calendar so that I get alerts. And you know, I like to cross reference because I'm kind of paranoid that I'm gonna forget things. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Do you like work in your planner and like do things in your planner, but also add things to like your phone calendar? If you do, let me know down in the comments below that I'm not alone in that. 
because <laughs> sometimes I feel like it's a little bit much. Like maybe I'm the only one, but I'm probably not, if I'm honest. I'm probably not the only one. Or maybe I just say that to myself to make myself feel better. So, and I'm not gonna put her friends' names down because privacy stuff. So pick up, I'm just gonna put Delilah and then plus. Or maybe I'll put Delilah plus friends. Okay, perfect. So that's on there, which means I need to clean <laughs> this weekend. Oh man, the struggle. Okay, so then Tuesday is not a preschool day and it's Brian's day to take Delilah to school. They bike to school actually, which is kind of fun for them. It's actually really fun. Brian bikes to work every day, which I'm actually very impressed by. Like I wish that that was something that I had the motivation to do. He's just such a wonderful human. And if you don't know, Brian is my husband. But yeah, he bikes to work every day. And so on Tuesdays, he bikes with Delilah to school, which I think actually might be stopping soon because it's gonna be rainy and cold here soon. Cold is, it's actually not that cold. It's been like 60s and 70s right now, but the rain is just so hard to bike in. It's such a bummer. Okay, so this will be pick up Delilah because I'm not taking her. So pick up Delilah at 2.15. Okay, and then we will put, I kind of like this. This is what I used to do when I was planning. I used to just write everything in like as I went and I recently switched over to like writing at the end. I think I kind of like this, doing it this way. I think it takes longer. It makes my plan with me is a little bit longer, but I think that's okay. You guys can let me know down in the comments below if you like longer plan with me is there shorter ones or what you like exactly because while I'm here to do this for me, I'm also here to do these for you guys. Maybe we'll do one of these right there. And then I can do a little star. Yeah, we'll do like an orange star. Cute. I love that. Okay, so then on Wednesday, it's another kind of busy day. So Wednesday is preschool. So we'll start with that. Maybe we'll put preschool at the top. Okay, so we'll put preschool. All right. Preschool at, I usually drop him off at 8.30. School doesn't actually start for him till nine, which is gonna be so amazing next year. Oh, you guys can't even see all of those pretty things going on, all of the foil. It's gonna be really awesome next year. And I feel like I said that last year, like, oh my gosh, can't wait till next year. <laughs> but I really can't because it's going to be awesome mostly because they both will be like right around nine o'clock. So I probably will drop Delilah off first and then I will drop off Harrison. So Delilah will probably start school at like 8.45. Maybe I'll drop Harrison off first. I don't even know, we're not there yet. That is a ghost if you cannot see that. You can kind of see it. Oh, that's kind of a bummer too. You guys are not gonna get a very good picture of this spread this week. I am sorry about that, but it is cute. And if you, if any of you guys have this like memory keeping sticker book, you'll know, you know what I'm doing here. There's little mummies in here too. I forgot about them. I thought they were all ghosts because I cannot see them either. <laughs> all right, that's cute. So my mom picks up Delilah and then I meet them over there. And what else? And we have dinner with her. That's right. Wednesdays are dinner. And I knew that like, again, my brain is just barely, barely functioning. Okay, we'll do a little bit bigger box. Maybe we'll put it down here and we'll put some more little like deco pieces in the middle there. That would be cute. And I think I would like to do some of these little dot things. I don't even know what to call them. Like markers, dot markers, who knows? <laughs> you guys probably do. I. I'm really bad at remembering those kind of things. All right, so Delilah to mom at 2.15 and then we'll do dinner with mom. And it's so awesome. My mom just lives like right up the street. So it's really nice. Dinner with mom. And that's usually like 4.30 to five. I don't put a time on it because Sometimes I'm later at work, sometimes I'm earlier. It just depends on the day. It just depends on how many lovely students I have calling that day. And that's, a lot of you guys have asked like how online school works and that is a big chunk of what we do at online school. It's like one of the main ways that we interact and like get to know our students is by calling them because we don't obviously have them face to face in a classroom. That's what we do. Okay, so back to here. Let's see, we'll put, 
this other candy corn, maybe a couple of them. All right, this plan with me is so long. I apologize about that, you guys, but you guys always ask for the chatty ones. If you don't like the chatty ones and you would prefer like a sped up one with music or like a voiceover one, if you know the difference, if you don't, that's fine too. But let me know if this is not your jam, but like I started doing the chatty ones again because a lot of people were requesting them. But if you would prefer me to just like be quiet and put my stickers down, I can do that too. I can rock with that. Okay, so there's the first half of the week. I do need something on my sidebar, but we'll come back to that. And then we have Thursday and Sunday left. <laughs> okay, so Thursday, I'm gonna put, we will put this other cat there. Do I have a jack-o'-lantern left? That is the question. This is what happens when you get to the end of like one specific holiday, then you kind of get <laughs> like the end of like whatever you had going on. Okay, so, oh man, we're running low on these things. Okay, maybe there's a pumpkin in squad goals. I feel like we already looked at these and they were too big to mark things, but I feel like I could put one down. Yeah, there we go. We'll put this, put this guy, he's kind of big. There's a smaller one though. Don't worry, we're still recording. We are all good. Oh, I get so paranoid because this camera, it's, it shuts off when it gets, quote, overheated. I have a Sony camera and that's like a big issue with them that I've heard from a lot of YouTubers who use Sony, but I love how it is in low light. Like you guys probably have no idea that it's literally dark outside. Of course that is partly to do with the lighting that I have happening in here, but I do need to mark something. <laughs> we need to make sure we pick up Delilah on Thursday. And I think that's the only thing on Thursday the 25th. I need to double check my virtual brain. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a bigger one because I need to take up some space here. Bump it all the way down to the bottom of this column. Okay. I kind of like days where I don't have a ton going on, A, to save my sanity, and B, because I get to decorate more in my planner. Oh man, speaking of decorating though, I have lost, oh there it is, my pen. And a lot of you guys have asked me what my favorite pens are and they are definitely these Sharpie pens. They're my favorite, I love fine point pens. So this is Pick Up Delilah at, oh, H at 2.15 p.m. Cool, and I'm sure I'll put something else there too. Okay, so then, would like to put a little bit more deco because we have some space there. Let's do this last candy corn over there. And then let's also put a little orange star. And as you guys can see, I like things like pretty full in my spreads. So yeah, that's just how that goes. And then, okay, so this is my idea. <laughs> so Sunday, we have nothing going on, not one thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this like full length sticker for Sunday. I can always add, like I can chunk it out if I need to. I can add hourly stickers if I need, but I love this because it could be just one running like Sunday to-do list. It's supposed to be kind of a gloomy day, so it's gonna be like the perfect day to do chores, to get extra YouTube stuff done, all of that. So, I love that. And I think I have, uh -huh. okay, so we're in Socialite. So I am going to use this sticker that says Tidy Up. So we'll mark that checklist right there. That's cute. All right, and I love this, that it has like the black and white polka dots. It does have like a multicolor sticker in there, but I do have a solution for that. Okay, so we'll put it here. And then because the multicolor sticker, like the circle doesn't go necessarily with this spread. So we're back in the seasonal and we're in the summer section. And in here, they have a really nice orange and it says yay. And it's just small enough to cover that up and make this work. All right, so I'm gonna add a little fall shopping sticker over here just to add a little more functionality also. And I will be having to do a little bit of shopping for this thing. Okay, so, so excited for this spread. This is so cute. 
I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Although I don't think you can see it very well on camera. This is like the sticker. Oh, there you can kind of see it. So this one is like tiny little gold dots. So just imagine that. And then our ghost friend over here. It's not just eyes and a mouth. <laughs> Okay, so this is the spread. Let's come out a teeny bit so we can see everything in its full glory. Oh, I love that. I love how that turned out. And yes, I know that I have a checklist and then like a list situation here, but this will be things like my daily tasks. This will be like bigger cleaning things. Okay, anyways. Sometimes I feel like I have to justify my planning, but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this spread. I enjoyed making it and I'm really excited that this is my black and white and orange and gold spread. And the first week in November is going to be like fun and not that this isn't fun, but it'll be more like greens and purples and all of those things for Halloween. And I, I don't know, I wanted to do this because I feel like I've got a lot of Halloween type things happening here. So yeah, if you like this video or if you liked this plan with me. Feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely adore each and every one of your faces. And here is the biggest internet hug ever. If you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today.